kan nie wacht om te hoor wat alle gaan gesels nie, dis nou uh, Lindy Malan, wat hier is. Lindy, uh, middag en welkom weer eens. Goeiemiddag, Christy. Lekker om jou hier te hee. But you've, you've got a guest, Celia Falkenberg, the co-founder of Creativity Wake Up, uh, the co-founder with her sister Nina Pierce. Um, Celia, welcome. Thank you, Christy. It's such a pleasure to be with you today. Thank you, Lindy, for the invitation to be on your radio show. I also can't wait to hear what you have to say, um, Celia. But it's over to you, Lindy. Thank you, Christy. Celia, oh my word, listeners, um, I really always feel excited when, uh, and I always look forward to chatting with Cecilia, uh, Celia. I mean, always. Thank you, Lindy. The, feel- the feeling is mutual. <laughs> <laughs> so, Celia, um, mother of two beautiful girls. I've just got to just say something about her, Christy. Uh, she's got an honors de- degree in architecture from UCT, graduated with distinction wow. uh, with a master's degree in housing and urbanization from the Architectural Association in London. Mm. Uh, but she's also now uh, the co-founder, uh, director with her lovely sister Nina of a beautiful company called Creativity Wake Up and that's what we're going to talk about today. So Celia I can't wait again where did all of this happen? So I mean you had a a successful architecture practice for 15 years right here in Somerset West and then I don't know by grace of God a feather falls on your head or I don't know what happened and the next moment you're on this complete different journey. Tell us uh, where did it all start for you? Uh, Lindy, thank you. We uh, started the company five years ago, Creativity Wake Up, but actually the idea for the company had been growing in our hearts and minds for many, many years before that. As you said, I'm a professional architect. Nina uh, has a background in uh, in finance, but she then moved into learning and development and has been facilitating and training in organizations for a few decades. And we were both at a stage in our career where we wanted a change. But we have had this idea and had a fascination with creativity for decades. We've been exchanging creative books on creativity and ideas over the years. And Nina had also seen in her work in training organizations and working in corporates that a lot of people are talking about innovation, but not many people really understand the creative thinking that underpins this. And we really saw a gap in the market where we could offer Uh, creative thinking and innovation training to companies through courses and workshops. So that's how it began. (laughs) How amazing. And, uh, you know, I get so excited about the idea that, I mean, this idea has been almost like germinating and, you know, it's almost like consciously and unconsciously uh, one sets oneself on a journey towards the the next chapter uh, and maybe not even intentionally but yet, yet you here you are but so what what made you decide okay this is now it five years ago now we're going to take the leap this uh, there's no turning back was there anything specific that like just pushed you guys across the line. There was something specific, uh, Lindy. Nina had a very big health scare. She uh, had open heart surgery and it was quite dramatic, mm, uh, very I dramatic. Can imagine. But uh, it really helps you sit back and reassess and we'd had this dream and had this desire, but I think that pushed us over the edge to give us the courage to say life isn't a dress rehearsal <laughs> anything not. can happen at any moment yes. and and so it really gave us that courage to say let's do it uh, so so it yes a dramatic story but uh, but from there we really developed that courage to get going yeah and, I, and I'm glad Christy she mentioned courage because um, it does take courage to start your own business right especially after 15 years having a successful practice mm-hmm. so tell us more about that courage I mean how much courage did it take what did you have to let go of is there anything that jumps to mind I've got to let, let go of something and now I'm onto this new page it does it does we have a lot of preconceived ideas about what our life looks like uh, and I think the 
the important thing is just to take small steps. Mm. And we we had this idea and we thought, well, let's test it out. And as an architect, I've been trained in design thinking. And design thinking is all about taking a prototype and testing it. Okay. So Nina and I thought, let's design it a course put it out as a pilot and see what the response is. Mm. So we did just that. We ran a pilot in Johannesburg where Nina's based and one here in Cape Town. And we just had a tremendous response. People loved the course and there were some teams on the course that immediately uh, started implementing new business ideas back at the workplace. And we thought, wow, we're really onto something good. <laughs> and we have developed and refined our ideas since then. Yeah, and, and, and again, it's the true story of an idea and then you work the idea and it starts transforming into something that you can monetize and you can, okay, we're on to this and it's well received and, and we start building momentum, right? Yes. Absolutely. Is that how it works? Absolutely. Okay. So, Chrissy, I, um, I would absolutely love to ask Celia and we'll touch on that when we get back. What, what are we referring to when you talk about creativity? I mean, is it drawing pictures? I mean, what is just unpack the concept of creativity when we come back and what it is that you got, that you actually do with businesses and corporates so we'll get back to that just now yes after this one by george ezra back with uh, business lunch with lindy we're busy with business lunch with lindy Malan. she's chatting to celia falkenberg the co-founder of creativity wake up lindy um celia we ended off by um being you know me ask, uh, wanting to ask you so what are you referring to when you talk about creativity um is it drawing pictures and painting by numbers or what are we even referring to Lindy, I'm so glad you asked that question because there's often that misunderstanding where people think of creativity as art artistry. But in fact, creativity is so much broader than that. Creativity is using our imagination to produce something novel and useful. So it's really about this producing. Uh, people often think creativity is just airy fairy ideas, but it's very practical and it's taking action. And the link between creativity and innovation is that innovation is really creativity commercialized. So we find that once people start to understand that they have this innate creativity inside of them, that they can develop that creativity is like a muscle that can be developed it's very very powerful so are you actually saying that we all have different potential around creativity locked in us and it's a question of nurturing developing i suppose first just creating awareness about it Absolutely. Mm. Uh, and we have different creative styles and preferences. They're different things that block us. And so we also work in teams where people can uh, recognize one another's potential uh, uh, creative strengths mm. and then leverage off one another. So when you're going through creative problem solving process, you will have people who have different creative preferences and strengths and how can we work as a team to leverage everybody's creativity uh, to work towards a solution for your company. This is so exciting. So um, uh, could you could you for for just give us a couple examples for us and the listeners around so so how do you actually work is it with individuals teams and you know is it is it is it is it like exercises games i mean what is it how do you guys go about doing this so lindy we have uh, workshops and our workshops range depending on our clients needs we can mm. do anything from a short keynote style presentation to sort of half day, full day, multi-day workshops. Okay. All customized. Uh, all customized okay. to what the clients need. Okay. They're highly interactive mm -hmm. um, and practical where people work on real business uh, problems that their companies are facing. That's so amazing. We yeah. love to start with the individuals so that people can get a taste of their own personal creativity, how they can bring mm -hmm. it into their own lives to nourish mm -hmm. themselves. And then we work further uh, uh, wider with the team understanding one another's um, creativity and working together towards practical solutions i've got to ask if you can um, share with us a, one or two examples of how working with teams uh, some development and success you've seen as a result of please share with us some success stories uh, we have been so fortunate to work with 
so many different teams across industries. We've worked with some of the South Africa's big blue chip company. Uh, we worked with one of our big retail banks with their client um, uh client services department where they were developing new ways of servicing customers. Uh, we've won a very exciting uh, project we worked on. We were invited to India by the biggest anti-human trafficking organization in India, where we ran three days of workshops uh, for this kind of, for this foundation's leaders, 60 of their leaders brought in from around the country. Oh, wow. And we looked at new strategies that they could uh, mm. use to combat human trafficking. It was so powerful mm. to see how creativity can save lives. Mm. Uh, here in the Helderberg, we worked with a veterinary change which uh, have clinics and uh, retail component. And they too found ways to save animals' lives. It was so oh, exciting wow. to see how the veterinary surgeons found ways to stop the spread of the parvo virus in their clinics, which saved the lives of these animals. Uh, and they also were able to increase their outreach work, uh, have 400% more volunteers coming to help uh, disadvantaged um, animals that live in disadvantaged communities. So it's so exciting for me to see how creative in these instances can actually even save save lives. It's incredible, and I get so excited about the potential that's locked in all of us. Um, but then, of course, I'm sure that um, one of the priorities is to prioritize the idea or the concept. It's It's got to be like something that we uh, willfully put on the agenda and create some space for, right? And time, I suppose. Absolutely. And one of the complaints or the resistance that we get to creative uh, to our programs is people say, we don't have time for this. Exactly. We're so busy. <laughs> Where do I pack that yes. in as well? But actually, by developing our creativity, we actually find that white space. What you are creating is the time. So uh, it is it is really powerful once you learn the tools it can actually create space uh, create more time for yourself it, within your company okay you know what christian and doesn't doesn't it sound like a lot of fun it does but i'm i'm surprised i thought it's a small little business this but now i mean she's working with the blue chip companies blue chip and companies. that kind of thing so yeah, um, yeah. yeah fantastic okay we'll take a break and then we'll come back straight after this blend your last session a couple of minutes still to go celia um talking about creativity is this suited for any specific profession or industry Lindy, we work across so many different industries and what's so wonderful is the more we work with different companies, we see how these principles apply. Uh, so we work, we work with in the financial industry, with insurers, with uh, legal firms, with engineers, with retailers. And we also work with tertiary um, institutions mm. as well as NGOs. So mm. we, we are finding that it applies across the board. Across the board, okay. yes. Maybe if I can ask you for some guidance on practical tips um, for both uh, um, like individuals listening to us or, um, you know, business leaders out there, leaders of teams, owners of businesses, some practical tips, uh, resources that you that you have. Uh, Lindy, thank you. We have many uh, resources that people can access on our website, creativitywakeup.com. For personal creativity, there's podcasts and book lists, and we really invite your list, the listeners to get curious about their creativity mm. and start exploring. Mm. There's a wonderful quiz, quiz that we have developed called What is Killing Your Creativity? Oh, where lovely. you can find out about what's blocking your creativity. and uh, Maybe my mom-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> no, just joking. I don't have a mom-in-law. I'm just in heaven. I'm just joking. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, there's lots of resources there, oh. um, and there's some tips uh, on on how you can develop your creativity. Uh, also, for for businesses, there's an an assessment on how innovative is your workplace. Lovely. And there's also there's some recommendations. And I really encourage business owners to start thinking: Do they have a process for creative problem solving mm. in their organisation? Mm. There's a wonderful process 
processes like the creative problem solving process, you can find out more about it on our website. And specific guidelines that uh, people can use to make uh, these processes more effective. Mm. So just encourage people to go and explore and read up and get curious about this mm. topic. And you know, um, for me as a business coach, I'm just thinking um, the, um, the the huge potential locked in creativity where we can really redefine and be innovative and to such an extent that um, you know, that 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 a lot of business growth can follow from that because I mean, of course, that could influence product, service, um, how we perform, um, how productive we are, the efficiency. I mean, it just touches on every aspect of business, right? Absolutely. And I think this is so exciting. People often think that creativity and innovation is for the leaders or for mm. the marketing or department. Or selected few individuals. Absolutely. And yeah. what what is so eye-opening for our clients is to see that each person can innovate within their role and that creativity is really uh, needed across the business, mm. both mm. for internal and out facing operations. And I think it should actually also be founded in the culture of the company, right? Um, to, to make that a priority, something that we stand for and encourage. Absolutely. Mm. So, mm. so important. Yeah, part of the DNA of a, of a company uh, in terms of culture. Um, I'm, I've got a final question. What do you dream about? You and Nina obviously have some dreams for this business. I mean, what are some of the dreams you guys have? Well, we are just so excited to see uh, the changes that we uh, that happen within the organization. Mm. And we really dream about helping all South Africans tap into their creativity. We just feel there is so much power and so much talent out mm. there and to really reach people at at every, you mm. know, everywhere to mm. to tap into their creative power. I think it's it's unlimited power people would just be amazed you know what and, and in an adverse society like south africa where we currently live uh, again i think it's it's the perfect environment for people to be creative mm -hmm. and find other ways and different ways of addressing some huge problems that we have so your work is so needed celia and uh yeah i'm just excited to see where you you and nina are gonna go with your business this is fantastic and absolutely well done. God bless you. Thank you, Lindy. Thank you so, so much. So where, where would listeners, I mean, you have referred to the website. Would that be the best way to get hold of you, Celia? Yes. Uh, we also are on most of the social platforms. Just uh, Creativity Wake Up is our handle. So we're on Instagram and LinkedIn and Facebook and all over the place. Okay. Well, listeners, if you want to get hold of Celia or Nina, jump onto that website, get hold of Celia. She loves coffee. She loves spending time <laughs> with interesting people. And I think, you know what, these are one of the things that I think if we don't prioritize developing creativity in ourselves, it's something we'll regret, right? Because Absolutely. it's that untapped potential. And there's a seriousness about this, Christy, that I think we should all be taking serious. I'm going to do that quiz uh, this afternoon on their website and just test myself. I think first. that's a great starting point, don't <laughs> yeah. you think, so Celia? fantastic starting point. <laughs> Wonderful. So, Celia, thank you so much once again. Uh, again, God bless you and Nina and the wonderful the work that you guys are doing. And, I, you know, I'm, I, I said it and I'm going to declare it. We're still going to do some amazing things together. But I just loved having you in the, in the studio today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I've also loved chatting to you, Lindy and yeah. Christy. And thank thanks you. for being here. Yeah, we enjoyed it. And Lindy, for you, I've seen now I'll see you next week. You know what? You won't actually. It will be a pre-recording, oh, uh, okay. um, and it's with Heartlands um, Baby Sanctuary. I'm off to the Maldives. Can you? Yeah. Oh Ooh, yes. So I'm you. just going to make everyone. Okay, that jealous. was Lindy then. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Lindy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we all need to have a little break now and then. Uh, yeah, Christy, but yeah, I look forward to being back soon. Enjoy. After. Okay. okay then. Cheers.